Alright, so I've been doing some math, right? And trying to figure out the different calendars. Alright. So, like I said before, some people think it's about 5,783 years after the fall. Mm -hmm. Some say about 6,000 years, but actually there is something that kind of pinpoints it, and that's the explosion of the volcano called Santorini, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that happened between... Uh, 1611 and 1538 BCE, right? Or BC, whatever you want to call that, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you say, what does that have to do with anything? Well, whoever wrote the Bible had to know about it, right? And how it affected Egypt, right? <laughs> and what proves it is not a past explosion with a volcano, but Mount St. Helens, right? It's up here in America, right? Well, the same thing that happened with Mount St. Helens happened with mm -hmm, right. Santorini, right? In Egypt, right? <laughs> Which was downwind of the mm -hmm, volcano itself, right? I. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of how I knew that, right? Mm. So some people just, like I said, the the numbers are a little bit different. Um, the thing about fifty seven eighty three. Mm hmm. Is this like 255 years off almost, right? And even if it was 6,000 years ago, it's about 38 years off, right? Right. So, again, right? I know the fall itself happened around 60, 70, I think, right? After another replenishing of the earth which took approximately 6,000 years, right? And then from there, Adam was tempted to fall again and he failed, right? And from then to now has been about 6,038 years, right? Is what I can figure out, right? Now, when they left Egypt, that was 970-something years after the flood, and the flood was about almost a few thousand years after the fall itself, right? <sighs> Say between 17... Um, hundred years or so, mm -hmm. maybe fifteen, right? Like I said before, right? Now, if you go from Adam, not when he died, but when he had his son, right? Mm -hmm. From when he had his son till the next son, right, is measured from the fall, mm -hmm. right? And he lived 930 years after the fall, right? Right. So a thousand years is as a day to the Lord, so that's 60, 70 BC, right? Mm hmm. You see what I mean? Right. <laughs> From the beginning, plus 6,000. 38 years is what? 12,038. Right, right. That's how long it took this planet to get to this point, right? Approximately, right. Now, the thing about a replenishing, though, mm -hmm. is 
however it's done, right, we are put basically, in my opinion, in the Turkey region, right? <laughs> and the Garden of Eden is there for a reason, right? I know, I know. After the earth is replenished, right? Again, right? Um, now, what I mean by that is, are we good enough that God can just explain the truth to us and us accept it, right? Or will we always deny the truth, right? Instead of following it, and God won't force it. And see, here's the catch 22 as well. If you don't know the truth, right, right, no one can condemn, can condemn you for it either, right? Didn't Jesus say something like that too? If you don't know what you're doing, but you do it anyway, right, you're less guilty than someone who knows what they're doing and does it anyway too, but... Mm -hmm. Still, the knowledge of good and evil exists so that, you know, you don't carry things too far. <clears throat> See, I can't kidnap a child because, like someone was saying earlier, right? Because, A, where would I take him back home? <laughs> right, right. No, no. I can't do that. I don't have a secret layer like some of these kidnappers on TV do, right? <laughs> take a child to anyway and that's not my cup of tea I can handle waiting for a woman through you know physical relief even with the bed right cause then I can think of any woman I want to think of and not even worry about really being with her right <laughs> that's what I'm trying to explain about masturbation to you <laughs> Okay, masturbating to a girl is different than stalking her to have sex with her, kidnapping her, and bringing her back to your house, and then holding her hostage. <laughs> okay, you see what I mean? Right. That's very elaborate, right? Or hoping you can find a woman before you die anyway, right? Right. And Or just be with you, right? And accept you as who you are, right? See, that's what I'm talking about, right? You know, you kind of, when you go into religious stuff, right? Well, see, the thing about the recent prophecies being fulfilled is that's being done by choice, right? Mm -hmm. See, it, Israel became a nation at a certain point mm -hmm. because it's written in the Bible that way, right? Isaiah is the one who asks the question, can a nation be born in a day, right? And that's what we kind of did with, you know, the modern day Israel, right? They deliberated, right? NATO or whatever, right? Or the genie, the religion or somebody, right? Back then, right? And in 19... 1948, Israel was made a nation again. <laughs> but that somewhat threw me in, right? And um, them fulfilling prophecy, okay, and yet, you know, what can you do about it, right? I <laughs> know. Exactly, if they do, right? Well, the problem is we developed nuclear warheads since World War II, and now they're just getting bigger and bigger, right? North Korea wants some, and then, you know, Japan might want some to defend itself against North Korea, and then Israel's got one, and so, you know, um, Islamists want one, right? <laughs> the question is, though, who will really use it, right? on each other as well. Mm -hmm. That's the warning and the problem. Right. Now, to replenish something means that there's no way life can live on the planet and 
it's necessary mm -hmm, to replenish the planet rather than, right, start back from scratch, right? Rather than, you know, whoever's left terraform it themselves, right, for example. Or if there's nobody left, right, you just start from scratch. See, um, the thing about men and the dinosaurs and all that, right, whether there were more dinosaurs or less by the time of the fall, mm -hmm. okay, you're talking... Um, still, the first day was the first thousand years, right? So the fifth day, right, and the sixth is when man was created, right? Now, the dinosaurs still existed a thousand years before man was made on day five, right? And the thing is, we don't know how fast, right? God could make a creature either, right? And once it's made, it can reproduce, right? So, again, right, that's what I'm trying to explain to you, but you don't have to understand it. I may, right, to help God loop it back around, no, no, is what I'm saying, right? Well, it also talks of the evil being evil forever and the good being good forever. And what does that mean, right? Well, like I said, if you create a loop and you recreate everything, including Adam and Eve, well, and you had the same problem with the same people, right? Including Satan and the fallen angels, right? That would create a loop where the whole planet is reincarnated, right? <laughs> if you understand what I mean, right? The whole principle of reincarnation is that, you know, um, you're the spirit of someone who died, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, all spirits, right, are someone who just died, right? When you die, right? <laughs> Um, once your spirit leaves the body, it wasn't, the body was made to house the spirit, right? Right, right. Once it leaves the body, it decays and goes back to the earth, right? Now, the spirit, though, right, mm -hmm, would only look like a light or an orb, right? I don't even know if it would be like in Harry Potter, like nearly headless knit or something, right? <laughs> either, either, right? Unless somehow the spirit is also conforming, right, to the body. In other words, it looks like the person it was in, right? Do you see what I mean? Right. That don't mean, Pastor Hagee, that you know, ghosts don't look like, again, right, how you look like now, right? <laughs> right. How did the witch of indoor recognize Sam, you know, anyway, right? Right. Or did, was that Saul, right? Right. Either way, someone knew what was going on there, right? When she called Saul Samuel up from the grave, right? Right. Now, the question is, though, mm -hmm. if God allowed that in the Bible and Jesus is all about grace, are you to burn a witch anymore, John, or not? Not. <laughs> right, right. See, even the sin of witchcraft isn't simply calling up a dead guy. <laughs> if you understand what I mean, right? Though some say Jesus caught up Moses and Elijah when the two metamorphed from him, right? But the other possibility is three appeared to Abraham and Sarah, and one stood with Abraham and two went towards Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. 
And then two angels are showing up in the Sodom and Gomorrah, and Lot meets them at the entrance of Sodom, right? Mm-hmm. And invites them into his house and shows them hospitality, right? Now, some say it wasn't just that um, the men wanted to rape them, right? That's part of it, yeah, but the rape could have led to a murder like with the concubine of the Levite, right? This is a different story told in Judges 19 where gay men wanted sex with the Levite. Mm-hmm. And he found this dude's house while his wife played the harlot and went back to her father's house and he went to go fetch her, right? Back to his house, right? You know, all that <laughs> kind of thing back then, right? And anyway, instead of letting her go, right? <laughs> He had to have her, right? And so he went back to these other countries to get her, right? And then bringing her back, right? And on the way back, he ran into some sons of Bilal, right? (laughs) And uh, they raped her all night to morning, right? Now, this jerk had the nerve to tell her, Hey, you get up. (laughs) Get on the horse, right? Or the donkey, whatever. Okay, hello. She was raped all night, idiot. She's probably dead. <laughs> I mean, these stories are just so outlandish. They make no sense, really, really. <laughs> but that's compared to today's stories, which are just as crazy, you know, and just as out there, right? <laughs> you know, but where do you think your source is, right? Religion, the Bible, all you're doing is rehashing Thor. Mm-hmm. Nothing personal towards Chris Helmsworth or anything, but right. the Thor you're making, though, isn't quite the Thor mm-hmm, represented in Norse mythology. Plus, he was more mortal, right, than immortal, by the way. And Zeus, by the way, was immortal, not Mm-hmm. Thor, Thor, mm-hmm. Zeus, you know, <laughs> I don't think that would fly, right, in the movie Thor, Love and Thunder, if you've seen it, right. But anyway, all right. About to leave the ears pretty soon anyway. <laughs> but another point is, right, you know, of course, when you're dealing with the Norse mythology, you got to deal with the Greek mythology a little bit, right? And like I said, well, <laughs> if you see it, you'll understand, right? If not, not. Wait till you go see the movie. I'm still promoting it, by the way, right? It's part of the point. I like the movie. It's not a bad movie, but it's also based on Marvel fiction, right? <laughs> And they're fictionalizing old Norse mythologies, right? Mm -hmm. And putting it in a modern day spin, right? Which that's how you make a story. Even Dracula by Bram Stoker is based on a historical character, right? Vlad Tepish, right? Like I said, right? (laughs) But of course, you don't want to do that. (laughs) The crap he did. I mean, he would, you know, place his enemies on the spike butt first, right? And watch it impale them, right? I don't know. Right, right. Let gravity do its work, right? right. <laughs> so that was some t- twisted stuff back then, right? Now, of course, I know that. And if I wrote a girlfriend about some of the twisted stuff I read, I'm rehashing it but not meaning it right to <laughs> exactly exactly now even the bible talks of men getting sores in their private area <laughs> and again if I'm paranoid me and Tina might be raped or something I might curse the person a female will get pregnant and stuff like that if she tries to rape me and 
a male will be impotent, <laughs> perhaps while trying to rape me as well, but again, right, <laughs> that's kind of to prevent that if you can as well, but right, <laughs> and things like that, right. <laughs> so, again, like I told you, I'm confused at that point too with the shipmates, my new girlfriend, right. And I'm not really sure what the hell to even say anymore, right, to people about the two witness thing either, right? <laughs> so sometimes you just make crap up because you don't know what to say to them. It's no different than Stephen King's novels, right? Actually, actually. Or even uh, and Tom Sawyer, right? By Mark Twain. Now, Mark Twain grew up when the N-word was in use a lot, right? More, right? Though, even after slavery was abolished by Lincoln and all that, right? Mm -hmm. Still, the word was in use, right? Now, the difference is the way Train, Twain used it, right, was more to make the story complete, right? And the nig in the story, right, wasn't as offended by it, right, as people are today, right? Now, here's the problem, though. When you're using it as a name on someone, okay, you don't say nig, 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 nig. You're a nig, you're a nig, you're a nig, 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 right? Okay, to make the person feel bad about it, right? <laughs> Okay, that word is just associated with the color. Mm -hmm. No different than Negro, but the skin tone, if it's true black, right, like I told you, would have to be this black. Your eyes and your teeth means you're not black. <laughs> black people, right? <laughs> Even your fingernails, right? <laughs> You know, things like that. <laughs> right, right. I'm trying to explain it to racist people anyway, right? You're not black, <laughs> right? Like the color means, right? You're not just the color of skin pigments either, either. I'm trying to get to understand you're human beings, and that's why it no longer um, should be used without proper explanation of what you mean by it, right? Now, when I was younger, I didn't quite understand that because I'm exposed to the word differently than during the slave age as well, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not meaning it as a white master to a black person, right, who owned the slave, right, right. I'm meaning it more comedic like Eddie Murphy would use it or Nick Nolte in the movie 48 Hours on when referring to Murphy being in jail, right, as the neat word, right, and again, right, that's what I mean, right. <sighs> mm -hmm. Right, right. Now, another thing is NGR, right, has to do with the word God, right, but if you double the G, it changes what it means to the Portuguese word for black, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a color, right? Mm -hmm. But like I told you, shades of gray, right? <laughs> right. A mulatto girl is a lot more similar to, say, a Mexican girl or a Hispanic girl or even an Asian girl, right? And things like that, right? <laughs> but I don't know nothing's happening, right? See, when you don't know nothing's going on, you're having memory problems, maybe, right? But the reason you're having the memory problems is either someone else is messing with you after the person leaves, or right? it's not happening at all, you're just making it up. You don't know which, right? right? Now, it's odd, like I said, though, if I find something in the house that I already looked for, right? And, you know, like, if you find a wallet under some papers, it 
shouldn't have been out of the papers because the papers were on the floor when you lost the wallet or something. Right. At all, at all. <laughs> <laughs> but it would give the person a place to hide the wallet, wouldn't it? Right. If you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> if you find keys that were, you know, missing or something, right, that's the point too, right. I had all that to happen in 2017, or right? even the Mustang keys were taken off the keychain, right, and almost broke off of it, right, where the keychain still attached to the key, right, right, was still on the keychain itself, but not the complete key on the keychain that was supposed to be on, right, right. Now, try explaining that to somebody, right? They don't say you're a nutball, right? <laughs> Especially if you're already paralyzed because it's afraid, right? You can't really explain it to anybody, you can't get told. <laughs> but you try, right, right? You know what you mean, right? And, you know, you wouldn't break your key from your keychain, right? <laughs> it was on and part of it would still be on the keychain the key was on, right? <laughs> and then <laughs> find the key somewhere else in the house, like in the, you know, washing machine or something, right? I don't know. And, uh, you know, that's not where you found the keychain anyway. <laughs> right. So unless you wash the key, which is what they're suggesting, I guess, too, right? How could it be in the washer and the key itself is on, say, the dresser, right? Right. Or the table or whatever, right? And, you know, you didn't wash it, right? Because um, you got to drive the car and the keys would be where you could easily find it, not in your pocket, right, necessarily, right? Which is what they're suggesting, you know? And if you live alone, right, the problem is, right, If you're having amnesia problems, you're not sure what happened, right? Now, like I said, if someone showed up with the Comcast girl, right, they scared her off too, right? Right. You know what I mean, right? And tried to black me out and make me think something happened with her too, like the girl at the swamp. Now, I'm the one pretending I would have sex with her, and then they're pretending she would be 15, and then they're saying she's lying, that she told me she was 37 and from New Jersey and a college graduate, so I don't know, right? Why she would do all that, right? But you do, don't you, right? Bye-bye.